What's going on guys? Alex here with that one for ADC and today I got a really quick unboxing to do for you guys. This package is coming in from my good buddy Corey over at Stafford's ADC and it is a package of I believe three different Kaiser knives courtesy of the Lefty Passaround Group. So I'm pretty excited for that. Unboxing knife is the CJRB Echo in green micarta. Liner lock version. Mm. After I get done filming the unboxing of this video, or the unboxing of this package, I'm going to do my full review on this knife, so if you guys are interested, definitely check that out. Yeah, we're going to unbox this and uh, see what we have. Filming these on Monday, uh, I'm going to try to do the unboxing and I have a couple other reviews to do. Um, and I have, I have some other loaners that are going to have to go out uh, either at the end of this week or early next week. So you guys might get a full week of videos. I'm going to try to, to make that happen for you guys. I've been really slammed and very, very busy the last two and a half weeks. Um, after work, I had been working on a um, staining project on a deck. So I finally got that done. And now I have a little bit more you know, free time after work. But yeah. Mondays suck, but I got a haircut, as you guys can see, and which I guess you might not be able to notice that because I haven't uploaded it in a couple days. Um, but I got my haircut, and a knife package always makes Mondays better. So toss that over here. All right, what do we have here? One Kaiser in box. Two. Don't want to talk to Siri. Two Kaiser boxes and three Kaiser boxes, as well as some Lefty EDC swag. Got a Lefty sticker, Lefty EDC stickers, the Circle of Knife sticker, which is cool. Kevin's on a little sort of town hall topic on that. Um, definitely go check those videos out. Take one and pass along. Um, Bluminati swag. So I believe Bluminati um, Ninja is another channel. Um, I'm not as familiar with his, but yeah, he has some patches in here, which is cool. Um, so there is some Bluminati Ninja. He, I think, is a newer member of our pass around um, or our, our knife chat on Instagram. Um, so that's cool. I'll have to take one of those and um, add it to the collection. But. All right, so first off, we have the Kaiser Bugal, or no, Bugai. That looks like, you know, the Bugai. Um, this is a micarta knife. Then we have a um, another micarta knife with the Aggressor, which is a front flipper. And then last, but certainly not least, probably the one I'm most excited for, we have the um, original XL. You guys know I'm a big, uh, quite a big fan of the original. Um, I have the one that Kevin gave me as a gift back I think it was at the end of summer last year as I was graduating, uh, finishing up college, my master's degree in uh, school, and he gave it to me as kind of like a welcome to adulthood um, present, and I still have it. I don't carry it, you know, as much anymore, uh, but it's always a sentimental piece and it'll never leave my collection, but I'm excited to get my hands on the XL version. Um, so first up, we have the XL version. Um, so 3.25 inch as compared to, I believe, like a, I think the... the Original, original is 2.98, um, and this one is in the gunmetal color. So I'm not going to show all these boxes, but everyone has um, a microfiber with some paperwork. Mm, and then a sticker as well. So we're going to toss this knife in here. And here is the original XL. You can see it's rocking the gunmetal aluminum scales. Of course, it is a button lock, dual thumb studs with a loop over style deep carry pot clip. I love the pot clip on this. Um, and here it says original gunmetal XL. Give it a flick. Yeah, it flies right out of there. And honestly, as much as I love the, the main original, um, Wow, this is snappy. 154 cm, so it's sticking with the same blade. Um, this thing is incredibly snappy. But as I was saying, as much as I loved and still love the, you know, the the main size original, 
and I, I tend to gravitate towards smaller knives a little bit more, but can you guys hear this? I mean, that snap just thunders out of there and there's no blade play at all on this. It just drops shut. This feels fantastic. No blade play at all. Um, the Ergos are just fantastic as well. Of course, you have more room to work with. So choked up here feels so, so good. And just that very, you know, simple drop point blade comes down to a nice thin edge. Um, I am really liking this. Uh, I did not know I would like it enough to the point where I would kind of want to go buy one. But I kind of want to go buy one now. Um, for versions of these, I think they have the original um, gunmetal. I think they have a micarta version. They might have a rich light, a red rich light version. And as of recently, they had a full um, frag tie scale version with a frag tie clip, which is really cool. Super clean. Um, I think with 20 CV steel or S no S35 VN. Uh, and that version is only like 135 bucks. Um, but this feels fantastic. I'm going to have to maybe look into getting one of these. Um, and I'm trying really hard right now not to uh, spend, you know, a ton of extra money on knives. I'm trying to be good and trying to save because, um, you know, my fiance and I are going to be moving into our apartment in a little, you know, short amount of time and trying to find jobs and stuff like that. Uh, but this thing is, this thing is really, really good. Um, I was excited for it and I was expecting to like it a lot, but I was not expecting it to be this damn good. This, this is really, really phenomenal. Um, and I just, I love the overall simple aesthetic of it. And, uh, it just is, this thing is really good. So original XL set this over here. Next up is the aggressor. Um, this is a three inch blade designed by assassin knives and 154 CM stone wash with a, uh, micarta scale and a steel liner. Toss this thing over here. Again, comes with a sticker and the microfiber and the paperwork and all that jazz that nobody really cares for that much. Let me toss this back in here. Here it is. So you guys can see it has some burlap micarta scales, um, kind of a darker brown. Um, also has a loop over stop pot clip, but this is a little bit different than what they typically rock with. It kind of has a little bit of taper to it and a little bit of contour that goes along with the scale. Um, but I love how it kind of gets flat at the bottom. That's cool. Lanyard uh, post back there. Backspacer. It's kind of a thicker knife. We'll give it a flick. Ooh. Comes right out of there. Um, a little bit of difficulty in the first one. Um, there is the Aggressor 154CM. Liner lock. Like I said, it is a little bit thick, um, but it feels good in the hand. You know, it's right around, it's a three inch blade, so it's right in that sweet spot. Drops close. Um, and I will say, I'm having a little bit of trouble with the front flipper. Um, and I'm usually pretty good at finding the sweet spot on front flippers. You can't fuller flick it. You don't have enough um, leverage to fly it out of there. But yeah, it's, it's a very minimal front flipper. It's, you don't really have much leverage at all. It kind of just is flush with almost, it's, it's a little bit over the scale, but it's basically flush with the scale. But yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. Um, when you get it, it's you know snappy and it flies right out of there. But you almost have to land with your, your thumb right on the corner of the knife. Um, and I'm not, I'm right on the corner of the front flipper and it's kind of sharp and pointy if I'm being honest. But the drop is very nice. A uh, little bit of blade play, but not too much. Um, and like I said, it is comfortable. Blade is kind of a spear slash drop point. Comes down to a pretty thin edge. I mean, it's a pretty thin blade stock to begin with. But nice drop with that liner lock. You have a nice lock bar access, which is always appreciated. But yeah, this is, I mean, once you get it down, it, it flies out of there very well and the detent is super snappy and again that drop is is very very smooth um but it's not the most intuitive front flipper uh, I, I don't love it right off the bat it's you know i'm gonna say it i don't don't love it it's kind of sharp and kind of tearing out my my thumb a little bit 
Um, but once it's open, it's very comfortable. Uh, again, I really like that pocket clip in the bur I'm not a huge fan of burlap micarta, but I can definitely appreciate it on some knives. Uh, and I haven't had any in, you know, I don't think I've ever bought, have I? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever bought something with burlap and it's been a while since I've had something in with burlap. So it's a nice change of pace. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time with this and maybe, maybe learn how to uh, flick it a little or flip it a little bit better. Cause it's giving me a little bit of trouble, but um, I'm slowly getting there. So this is the Kaiser aggressor. And then last, but certainly not least, we have the Kaiser Bugai. Um, this is designed by Dennis Antimonov. Um, it's 154 CM stone wash with micarta and a steel liner and the blade size or blade length is 3.1 inches. So get this out, show it to you guys. And we're going to wrap this video up again, comes with the stickers and all that jazz extra hardware, which I think all of them do as well. Just got very breezy up here. Um, as you guys can see, I kind of, I'm already 10 minutes, 11 minutes into the video, but um, we are outside on the side by side. It's trying to get some of that nice sunlight and nice weather. All right, and here is the Bugai. You guys can see right away has, I believe either, I think this is green canvas micarta. Has a loop over style deep carry clip that is again, a little bit different than what Kaiser. Uh, I mean, I guess I've seen these before. Uh, the uh, Cobalt 2. 0.0 or 2 had this on it, which is nice. Um, lefty carry. Thinner than the aggressor. Um, and I just realized the aggressor... So the pot clip is not lefty carry on the aggressor and neither on the original, but um, kind of already knew with the original that you only get righty carry, which is a little bit confusing, but um, you do get lefty carry on here. Um, you guys can see it is a thumb hole for deployment. So you guys can middle finger flick, thumb flick, and slow roll this knife out. We'll go with the middle finger flick. Comes out of there. No, eh, a little bit of blade play if you really, you know, kind of lurch down on it. Um, and you guys can see it has a huge belly, um, kind of a spear point, you know, big belly blade, Bugai. Um, there is the D Antimon of Design logo. Again, I'm never not familiar with his designs. It's the first time I've seen it. Um, 154 and Kaiser on this side. Liner lock with again plenty of lock bar access. Little bit of, eh, little bit of blade stick. You guys might be to hear that breaking loose, um, but it's very smooth. It's definitely an interesting looking knife. Um, it's kind of short, stubby, um, but. Ergos are fantastic. You have a very, very generous sort of um, finger groove there. And then you have a nice natural restriction point. You can get all four fingers on here very easily. You can also choke up very easily with that landing choil. Um, very, very comfortable. Not the most usable blade shape for me and for what I do. Um, but if you're going to be, you know, doing like this, I think would be perfect for plenty of cardboard cuts because you're never going to slip really out of that cut. Uh, and you do have a fuller on both sides, which is cool, but very smooth. Uh, you do have a, a little bit of that, you know, um, lock stick at the beginning, but it's very smooth, very, very drop shutty. Um, I think I like this a little bit more than the aggressor just cause, you know, I had a little bit of trouble with the, um, the front flipper on that, which again is, is out of the ordinary for me. I'm typically really good at once I, you know, get it down a few times. It's, you know, second nature. Um, but I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time with that. But I definitely like the original XL the most, then probably this, then the aggressor. But you know, things could change, opinions could change by the time I do the reviews on this. Um, but this is cool. Micarta feels really nice. I think Kaiser does a fantastic job on the Micarta, specifically their canvas Micarta. Ergos are good. Um, it's definitely quirky and unique. Uh, and I, I, I like it for that. Not something I would probably go out of my way to buy. Um, but that's the joy of these pass around groups um, is getting the checkout stuff that you typically would not spend your money on. So this was the Kaiser Bugai. And like I said, in order of preference, I'd probably go with the Aggressor, then the Bugai, then the awesome original XL. So 
That was my unboxing of these three knives. Huge shout out to Kevin over at Left EDC for always providing us with really cool content and really cool knives to check out. Uh, Kevin, if you're watching this, I always appreciate it, man. You just, you know, you keep so much content coming into my channel uh, and I'm always grateful for that. And uh, yeah, so leave a comment down below. What are your guys' opinion on these knives in general? These specific knives and Kaiser in general, I think Kaiser has been killing it recently. Um, they've been coming out with some awesome designs, some awesome knives, and their fit and finish is really starting to get very, very um, consistent and clean and uh, crisp and all the good things. So leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say, but I'm going to wrap it up. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, morning, evening, night, whenever you're watching this, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.